Hello, I'm going to show you how to set up a parent account today to get using this with your children. So the parent, the teacher and school accounts all have access to exactly the same features. The only difference is the amount of pupils you can have on it. So a parent account, you can have up to five children. This is what it will look like when you're signed in as the parent. What you'll need to do first is add accounts for your children. So go into all pupils. I've got one there already. Click add pupil and add their name. Add their username, which will be appear red until it's unique in EdShed. Add their display name. Now, this uh, a lot of our schools like to keep this separate to their real name as it can appear publicly, but it's completely up to you as their parent whether you want this to be their real name or something different. They don't have to have an email address, but you can put it in there. Uh, select the date of birth. And then a memorable password. And click submit. What you will need to do next is assign a license. So I've already got my subscription, but if you haven't, don't worry, you can still add pupils before getting a subscription and assign the license later. So click assign license, click on your subscription. You can see I've got five seats because you can have up to five pupils and click assign, click done. And then if I go across here, click show licenses, you can do that. If you need to assign licenses to pupils that are already on your system, you just would go to all pupils, which is the page I'm on now, click on the pupil and click give license and then it will come up there. That's how to do it without that pop-up appearing. Now once they've got their logins, they're good to go. The other thing you might want to do while setting up is, I know it says teachers, but if you've got um, your other co-parent that you want to have an account as well, you can also add them here. You can give the, add their email address and give them a username and password. Admin access just means they can change the subscription and also be able to see how the pupils are getting on in the assignments that you have set. So I would recommend having the other parent as an admin as well so that they can alter things. So to give your children lists or maths tasks to practice, you'll need to set an assignment. You can set single assignments for both spelling and math shared, but only an assignment set is for only spelling shared. This creates assignments or spelling lists to appear on certain dates, so you can be nice and organized and they can happen in advance. For a single assignment, you can add your title And the dates that you want it available from, you can set it in the future if you're being organised. And then choose the list. So this is from the year groups here. Or maybe you've created your own list. Or maybe it's a maths quiz that you want to set them. So we have fluency, which is a mental math skill, so times tables. So you might want to set them a particular times table to practice. Or we also have quizzes that go with the PowerPoints. So they accompany each lesson. Let's give them a times table. If you want to click limit lists, this means it limits the games available until they have done as many games that you have set as required. So then you can assign it to your particular child. Maybe you've got two that are in very different year groups. So you might want to do that separately. And then you can go to your assignments, which is here. I set this assignment test two. If you click details, you can see how they are getting on with how many they played. We put two as our limit um, and what difficulty they're choosing. The pupils have the right to choose their, their own difficulty, although the harder the difficulty, the more points they'll get. If you want to create your own spelling list, you would do that down here. And it's worth noting that if you want to have a look at any of the lessons that are in PowerPoint, this is where you will find them. So here's the spelling scheme will be there. We've also got spelling and grammar. And our maths resources are here. To create your own spelling list, you just go into here, 
create your list. Phonics is if you want it to be sounded out or not, depending on the age of your pupils or children. Just click save. And then your list that you've just created, maybe it's um, specific words from their school that they've been given to practice that are a different scheme from what we have on here. If you've typed them out, you can then assign it to your, your children here. So that's where you can do that. That's generally how you would set it up. So you've added your pupils, you've added any other parents, you've added any uh, spelling list or specific maths things for the children to practice. You can then have a look and start to look at the other features once you've got to grips with that. Hive games are, at the moment it's just for spelling shed, but we're in the motion of getting it available for math shed too. They are interactive spelling tests. I've got another video about how to set up a hive game on our YouTube channel, as well as how to set up challenges and leagues as well. But at least here, you should be all set up to get your children going and practicing.